What up, what up, I'm Chad Wild Clay. Last time I used Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle weapons, I asked you which weapon should I use next. A lot of you guys said Mortal Kombat. I love Mortal Kombat. So let's buy some Mortal Kombat weapons and test them out on some fruit. First up is a lot of people's favorite Mortal Kombat character, Scorpion. He is a resurrected ninja and is one of the very few characters who have appeared in all of the video games. His weapon of choice is the kunai, also called a chain dart. And of course, what is Scorpion's catchphrase when he throws the dart? Get over here! We're gonna see if we can do that to some fruit and maybe a two liter soda. Well, let's jump online and see if I can find one of these weapons and a Scorpion costume, of course, right? Oh, look what I found. Scorpion Chain Dart on KarateMart.com. You like chain and rope throwing weapons, right? Well, get over here. <laughs> Uh-oh, guys. Due to the extreme risk of injury when practicing this weapon, please practice with caution. Let's order this thing and let's be very careful with it. <laughs> Oh, and just my luck, they also have a deluxe scorpion costume. <laughs> now you can embody everything you've ever loved about your favorite Mortal Kombat character of all time. No, not Johnny Cage. What's the matter with you? <laughs> well, let's order this thing as well, and let's become Scorpion. All right, guys, we just got a delivery here. Let's check it out. Here it is. Let's get in here and see what we've got. This must be the uh, armor, body gear. Ooh, look at that. Skull, sweet. This must be the uh, shin guard. Must be a face mask, I'm guessing. It was pretty heavy duty. I'm gonna see how quickly I can change into Scorpion here. hi -ya! Whoa, I am Scorpion! Get over here! Maybe I should paint my face like a skull. <laughs> I know you guys wanna see the Scorpion chain dart. All right, wow, <laughs> this thing is wicked, man, look at this. So it's got like a ball bearing here so it can spin really fast. So as you throw it, we throw it with a spin, it'll fly straight, right? And then the handle here also is on a, on a ball bearing and it's like a really good weight. That is a really nice grip there, it's heavy duty. This spearhead, that's heavy. That's like, I don't know. That is actually pretty decently sharp. I'm definitely not gonna be playing with this inside the house. With a big five foot chain like this, could definitely cause some damage. And uh, I'm gonna have to practice with this quite a bit. Now let's go outside and test this thing out. Grab that scorpion, get over here. Okay now. I've got no experience with this thing, so we'll see how I do with it, huh? Let's go! Get off my arm! <laughs> there we go! The soda's gone, it's just like foam now. Oh, oh wow, look at that. Huge. Well, job, Scorpion. We know this thing works. Holy cow. 
sick. Oh man, and this camera, check this out, it's covered in soda now. And the next weapon is a thumbs up. Actually, it's not a weapon, but it's a really cool thing for you guys to do this video. If you want me to do more Ninja Weapon videos, please give it a thumbs up and that'll tell me, hey Chad, go slice up some more fruit and I'll be like, oh, okay, cool. You know what Mortal Kombat character has some insane, awesome weapons? Baraka. Baraka was first introduced in the game Mortal Kombat number two. He is a nomadic mutant race called Tarkata, and he has these really long blades that come out of his arms called Tarkata blades. Let's see if I can find something that would mimic a blade coming out of my forearm, because I don't want to go to the hospital and actually like get a blade installed inside my arm. That would probably hurt. So I'm going to try to find the, the next closest thing, okay? Okay, okay. I think this is pretty close. Ooh, Ninja Push Sword for $16.95. Wow, that looks tight. Yeah, that looks pretty similar to Baraka's blades because uh, like it comes right out of the forearm. Well, dang, yeah, I think this is perfect for Baraka. So let's go ahead and add this to cart. Special delivery! Oh, nice. Comes with a sheath. I wasn't expecting that. That's really nice. And it looks like it's the blade is buckled in there pretty good. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that is sharp. That is gonna cut some fruit. And it's got another second blade down here. Let's see how quickly I can assemble this thing. <laughs> I definitely feel like Baraka with this thing. It actually comes out of your arm in a very similar manner because he usually goes like this. So you can see it's strapped to my arm here. This is hard plastic and this is the rest of it's all metal here. So it's strapped in and then down here we have the handle. So you kind of hold it like upside down. And then here you have one of the blades here and then another blade right there. All right, let's go outside and practice our Baraka skills. And now it's Baraka. Yes, still in my scorpion outfit, so you'll just have to pretend I'm Baraka. Um, I think I should probably practice with this one with the sheath on still. It's pretty darn sharp. I know Baraka has two blades coming out of his forearms. We're just gonna be like half Baraka, okay? <laughs> and it was one, one of his moves oh! <sighs> Good thing I left the sheath on, huh? You don't want to do one of these blocks, and then one of these, oh, oops, chop. Let's us chop some fruit. Now, this pineapple's got a very hard shell, so it's got to be a sharp blade to cut right through here, so. Baraka, blade. I chopped the top off. <laughs> you gave it a haircut. I did. <laughs> here you go, here's your hair back, buddy. <laughs> I know he's a little self-conscious about his hairdo, so let's put that back on there, huh? Baraka versus pineapple, Baraka wins. Woo! Woo! That was a nice one. Call me Baraka. Before we jump into the next weapon, hit that bell symbol down below so you and I can hang out in a live stream before every single upload and hang out for the first 30 minutes of every upload in the comment section below. Our next Mortal Kombat character is Melina. She is a clone of Katana. Now I chose Melina not only because she's an awesome character to fight as in the game, but because she uses one of my favorite weapons of all time, the Psy, which you probably saw me using in my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles weapons video. I already have the size, but hmm, I do need someone to play the role of Melina. And I needed a costume as well. 
of course, they do have it, always trying to be more than just Katana's demonic sister. Melina hasn't had an easy go of it. Just add a pair of costume or real size. We will be adding a pair of real size. Thank you very much. And look what just came in the mail. I took it out of the package already, but we've got Melina's costume right here. And let me go grab my size, which I used for my last video. There we go. Here are those size. They are mostly a defensive weapon, but they are sharp at the top here. Great for stabbing your opponent. But what I really like about these is the ability to defend yourself, especially against swords. When they come down against you like this, you can trap your opponent's weapon, flip your wrist, and your opponent's weapon can fly right out of their hands. Now, let me see if I can convince V to put on this Melina costume. <laughs> Okay guys, I just called V in here. Come on in V. <laughs> I've got something for you right here. Uh-huh. It is a Melina outfit. Uh-huh. What do you think? Looks pretty cool, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's just a little bit revealing, not too bad though. Uh-huh. Right? <laughs> Will you slice up some fruit for us? Oh my with gosh. These? <laughs> Wait, these are the weapons that she uses? Yeah. Oh my gosh. These are heavy duty. It's pretty cool. Uh huh. I guess I'll do it then for the weapons. Oh yeah. <laughs> what fruit do you want to slice up? With these? Yep. Kiwis? Kiwis. So you have really good aim then, because kiwis are really small, you know. I was just going to slice it on a plate. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to need a watermelon, a big old watermelon that you can't miss. Let's see how V looks. Melina, I what challenge are you, you to. Are you again? I'm Scorpion. <laughs> what? You never played Mortal Kombat? Dress up as Melina, she doesn't even know who Scorpion is. Who are you? Oh, my balls. Oh. <laughs> let's, uh, let's put these away. I don't trust B with these. Wait on, girl. Oh, that was pretty close. Oh, finish him. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Help, help me! It's Marina! <laughs> <laughs> I'm smiling and stuff though. Like, Yay, I'm buddy! Fight! Isn't she the happiest <laughs> Mortal Kombat player ever? <laughs> Why don't we have Melina chop up some fruit, huh? Alright. Yeah, you ready? Oh! <laughs> she actually punched my nose! <laughs> I thought you were paying attention! <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to be paying attention. Always be ready. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ooh, you showed that watermelon. Good job! Melina defeated Watermelon. Melina wins. Melina. <laughs> Watermelody. Watermelon defeated. Watermelody. <laughs> the next Mortal Kombat character is Kano. He is originally from Australia. Shout out to everyone in Australia. And he has a metal plate on his face due to an injury. Part of that injury, he had his eye replaced with a laser shooting eyeball. Now, I will not be replacing my eyeball with a laser shooting eyeball, but instead, I'm gonna be using Kano's main weapon, the butterfly knives. So let's jump online here and see what we can find. Here we go. Go. This looks exactly like what he uses. Lightweight aluminum butterfly swords. I think these are exactly what we need to become Kano. Let's add to cart. Hmm, what do you think these could be? Oh, oh man. These look freaking cool. These are so cool, dude. I didn't think these would look that cool. They're actually a lot bigger than I thought they would be. 
You know, it's so easy to uh, get them out of their own wrapping when they are blades, you know? <laughs> wow. That is so cool. Uh, so it's got these hand guards here. And then it does have, like a sigh, you can catch their blade or catch their weapon right in there. I'm ready to chop up some fruit. Kano uses the butterfly swords. Yeah, I know I'm still in my scorpion outfit, but you're just gonna have to pretend that I'm Kano, okay? You jerk, get out of my way! I'm trying to do ninja skills here. <laughs> I kind of like chickened out at the last second there. I was like, I'm going to slice into the, to the stool. <laughs> Scorpion wins. Great brutality. <laughs> Bring it on, Melina. Now in my last Ninja Weapons video, a lot of you guys asked me where did I get all those weapons? And I purposefully did not show you where I bought them because I wasn't super happy with all of them. This time, as you probably have noticed from my reaction to opening these weapons, these things are legit. And I, I've just been like, wow. So if you guys wanna check out these weapons for real or if you wanna check out any other weapons, I highly recommend KarateMart.com. You probably saw me buying them on their website. What's really cool is these guys saw my last video and they agreed to send me these weapons for this video for free. So thank you, Karate Mart. I hope you guys will support them by clicking on their link down below. They even gave me a 10% off code for you guys. So if you wanna use code WILDCLAY, you get 10% off your order. Let's get into the next weapon. The next Mortal Kombat character we're looking at is Cabal, who first appeared in Mortal Kombat number three. He has long black hair, sometimes wears a trench coat, and wears a respirator. Now I'm choosing this Mortal Kombat character not because he's one of my favorite to play, but he has what I think are gonna be one of my favorite weapons. I've never used these weapons before or owned them. They are the Hook Sword, also called the Chinese Hook Swords. So let's jump online and see what we can find. Yeah, here we go. These look just like the ones Cabal uses. Before smartphones came along and combined multiple tools into one device, before the Swiss Army designed pocket knives with corkscrews, ancient swordsmiths developed the chrome Chinese hooked swords to synthesize four killing tools into one weapon. Cool, I did not know that. Man, these things look cool. Let's add these to cart. Do do do, look what I've got. It's a big box. These are bigger than I thought. Oh, 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 oh. oh, this is sharp, like all around. Holy cow, you gotta be careful. And there's like daggers at the bottom down here. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are insane, dude. Gosh. <laughs> look, look how huge these are. What would you do if you saw somebody coming down the street with a pair of these coming after you? I think I crap my pants. It's sharp, every, like every edge pretty much. It's very sharp right here. And it does get sharp down here again. A hand guard is also sharp, so you could punch with this. At the very bottom, you've got a dagger as well. Right, let's go outside and practice these things. 
Wah. Oops. Cabal. Now, yes, I'm still in my scorpion outfit. I don't have a cabal outfit. I'm sorry. And these things are freaking dangerous, so I'm kind of scared to do too much with them. That is one sharp hook sword. Look at that. Ooh, it's stuck into the chair. <laughs> My poor stool can't handle all the abuse. Shot. Holy cow! Wow, look at that clean slice right there. <laughs> Thanks again, KarateMart.com. Your weapons are fantastic. Check them out in the link below. If you guys didn't see my last Ninja Weapons video, it's right here. It's five Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle weapons versus fruit. If you're not subscribed, click right there, but I'm sure you are, because you guys are super awesome ninjas. If that doesn't look interesting, check this one out. It's pretty darn funny. And I'll see you guys real soon with a brand new video.